Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, be doers of the word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. No, we didn't wake ourselves up. We can't do that. No, we can't. We can't do anything of our own. Glory be to God. Well, it's all God be the glory, right? It's all because of him. And I hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. I hope you all are saved and have given your life to Christ Jesus. I hope you have that personal relationship with him. I hope you're in daily repentance. I hope that you are reading God's word, the Bible, the Holy Bible, preferably the King James Version. And you're going down on your knees in prayer and crying out to the Father so that he'll hear your cries and he'll answer you. Not only that, he'll teach you the word of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. Today we're on... We're on Proverbs, we're still on chapter 24, we're on part 2, more sayings that make good sense. With that being said, hallelujah, let us say a prayer, a prayer for children of all ages. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for keeping us overnight. Thank you, my Father, for our parents that you sent to that loves us and nurtures us and teach us the way to go by your word. Thank you, Father God, for teaching us how to love and to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. And we love you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen, indeed, amen. Let's get right on into it. Hallelujah. Okay. Proverbs chapter 24, part 2. More sayings that make good sense. Here are some more sayings that make good sense. When you judge, you must be fair. If you let the guilty go free, people of all nations will hate and curse you. But if you punish the guilty, things will go well for you and you will prosper. Giving an honest answer is a sign of true friendship. Get your fields ready and plant your crops before starting a home. Don't accuse anyone who isn't guilty. Don't ever tell a lie or say to someone, I'll get even with you. I once walked by the field and the vineyard of a lazy fool. Thorns and weeds were everywhere, and the stone wall had fallen down. When I saw this, it taught me a lesson. Sleep a little, doze a little, fold your hands and twiddle your thumbs. Suddenly, poverty hits you, and everything is gone. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't that the truth? Well, God's willing tomorrow. We'll come back to Proverbs chapter 25. More of Solomon's wise sayings. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. By the way, nobody else died for your sin, so I don't know who you're serving. If you now serve the Lord thy God, hmm, think about that. I know. Uh, tell your loved ones that you love them, and I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day, tell them about Father God, who gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. Right? Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That is not something up for debate. That's not something up that we can discuss. That is something we all must do. Please do it. I love you all to love the Lord, and that's why I tell you the truth, and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.